everyone, Chris Gunnels here from uh, Ammo Reloaders of America, the Facebook page. Uh, I'm building a furnace to melt aluminum, and I'm going to show you uh, what I've done so far and what I'm going to do in this episode of uh, part three of building uh, the furnace out of a propane tank. Uh, just to recap, uh, I, uh, I told you about uh, last, in the last episode that I'm going to weld this black malleable tube uh, to the propane tank, and so I've done that. Uh, not the best weld, I'm not the best welder, of course, but it works, it stays on there, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, also, I drilled a hole, and I don't know if you can see this, but I drilled a hole at, in the very bottom of the propane tank, and the reason for that is just in case there's any aluminum that spills, it'll just melt out through the, the bottom there. In, out of that hole. Uh, and so th in this episode I'm going to go ahead and talk about the lid that goes over the, the propane tank. Um, and if you remember in the last episode I, talked, uh, I showed you that the lid had metal wires going across and uh, going up and down and across but they weren't very sturdy. I mean I, I was able to just pull them right off. And so I did that uh, because I came up with another way to uh, make it a lot sturdier. And so what I did was I ended up cutting four of these, these brackets with my diamond blade. Um, let me get the piece of metal for you guys. Okay, so it was just this metal, and I don't know what it's called, but you can find this at Home Depot. It's, I think it's relatively cheap. I used uh, a lot of this uh, about, oh, about three feet, four feet to hang my garage door opener. And uh, it works really good. So anyway, I cut uh, about four of them, four of, four of these, about an inch and a half in length. Made sure that there was a full hole, if that makes sense on each one of them because I'm going to stick this metal wire I'm going to go ahead and stick this metal wire through those holes and maybe wrap it once or twice around um, for it to make it sturdy and then once that's these are going to be placed in the in the center like right about here I don't know if you can see that let me put some light on them they're going to be placed about right here and the wires are going to come through these uh, these holes in the middle, and then I also cut about an inch and a half uh, of these holes, or excuse me, of these uh, this metal. I don't even know what it's called, just metal plate, and uh, it's going to I'm going to weld it right there to the uh, to the lid, and the wire is going to wrap around these uh, so that uh, the, it, when I weld it, it doesn't uh, melt like last time and that way it'll provide it'll, it'll be sturdy and it'll provide a lot of strength uh, for the cement that's uh, going to be filled in here uh, so that when we close the the furnace uh, the metal doesn't melt uh, and so what I did uh, how I made these I don't know if you can see them uh, these little one inch one and a half inch plates is from this again I got that at Home Depot you can get it uh, there or at Lowe's, I'm sure. So let me go ahead and weld some of the. I'll uh, weld one of these together to give you an idea, and then uh, I'll go ahead and finish it, and then show you uh, the finished product uh, product at the end. I just finished um, just one section of the uh, of the uh, mini rebar, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I put in two of these uh, L-shaped uh, uh, piece of metal and then two, two of these uh, flat, flat pieces. Uh, I just welded those in and then I put the, uh, put some of this string, uh, this, uh, excuse me, this metal wire um, around and in, in the holes. Uh, the, the idea is to uh, strengthen the cement and the idea is to have a little bit of rebar support. Uh, obviously, it's not rebar, but it's uh, 
it's there to strengthen it a little bit. Uh, you don't want to just put one piece of cement in there. Uh, you got to have something throughout to uh, to support it. Uh, let me get a close up for you guys. Uh, sorry, kick the tripod. Uh, let me get a, a close up for you so that you can see exactly what's going on. And uh, I'm not the best welder, so all you professional welders out there don't laugh. Uh, but it'll do. It's strong. Um, I can't. It's it's part of the uh, the lid. So here's the close up for you. Actually, let me come around the other way and get some light in there. So that's this is one of the flat bars, piece of metal, and I just wrap the the wire behind it and coming out the other side. Um, and as you can, I don't know if you can tell, but this wire here goes into this hole and comes out the other side, it wraps around and goes down. Now you can see it good from here. This wire is coming through uh, this hole um, and then as you can see there it kind of wraps behind and then it comes it just makes a loop basically a couple loops um, anyway that's the idea uh, I still have to put another one um, still have to put another one going uh, this way here horizontal and uh, one vertical here and another one vertical here uh, so there's still a little bit more work to do but that's the idea and uh, I'll finish that up and then uh, I'll show you the finished uh, finished product okay everybody uh, I just finished up the lid and uh, I want to show you the actual finished product uh, let me get my welding gloves on because it's still hot I just finished welding it actually heats up the entire lid almost. Here you go. This is the the entire inside of the lid. Obviously, all the cement will be going in here, uh, all throughout here. Uh, the and the, again, the purpose of it is to uh, act as little rebar uh, for the cement to strengthen it. There's no way any of this is coming out. Uh, I've welded it, welded it in there.